Hey guys, and welcome to the channel. For those of you who are new to the channel, this is Chris Time FK7. My name is Chris, and I make videos of this 2021 Honda Civic Sport hatch. So be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon so that you can get notified every time I do post a video on the channel because I do post every Saturdays and Tuesdays. Now that being said, today's video is going to be the first four mods that you should be installing on your Honda Civic Sport hatch that is under $300. Let's go. Before we get started with today's video, I started a new thing on my channel where I showcase my subscribers 10th gen build. And today's build is coming from our northern neighbors all the way from Quebec, Canada. This is Michael Laventure's build and he says, Hey Chris, love the channel, been a subscriber since 3k. Glad to see your community growing. And the mods that he has done to his car so far is a duckbill spoiler, smoke side markers, custom black calipers, laminex gun smoke fog lights wrap, smoked emblems, and black side vents. So if you want your 10th gen to be featured in one of my videos, email me a picture or video of your build at christimefk 7 at gmail.com. And if you want, you can leave a description of the mods that you have done to your build so that you can share it with the viewers of this channel. Back to the video. So the first mod that you should be doing on your car if you have a budget for two to $300 is these lowering springs. So these are lowering strings from iBack and I do have an installation video. I will be linking it down as well. So if you know, go ahead and check that out. So not only do these springs change the whole look of the car because it provides a more sportier look, um, whereas stock, the suspension, you look like you're driving a four x four. So with these lowering springs, they don't make the car too low. Um, they lower the car about an inch. So it's not too low where you're gonna have to worry about speed bumps or still look like you're driving a four x four. These in my opinion are the perfect height for this car. It's not that different from the stock suspension. Uh, it just provides a little bit of stiffer ride. Lowering springs also help improve handling because of the car's lower center of gravity. It also improves the car's air dynamics because you're not gonna get as much air resistance and that equals improved fuel economy and slightly better acceleration. This in my opinion should be one of the first things that you should do on this car if you're on a budget between two to three hundred dollars. Moving on to the next one. So the next mod that you should be doing on your car if you have a budget of two to three hundred dollars is of course the window tint. Now you can do this on your own for far less but I don't trust myself to do it myself so I took it to the shop and had it done. I spent a total of two hundred fifty dollars on this window tint. In the state of Pennsylvania the legal tint limit is only thirty five percent. I could have went and got darker 25% and I still wouldn't get pulled over but I went ahead and played it safe and got 35 just in case I did get pulled over uh, and then they wanted to measure my tent which is a rare occasion here but 35% does the job and not only does it look nice on the car but it provides some privacy because when you're stopped at a stoplight or even parked somewhere people won't be able to see what's inside of the car. I like the fact that you get your own privacy with this window tint even though it's 35% it does the job just right. So this is my next go-to mod if ever I am purchasing this car. The springs and the tents really change the look of this car alone. Let's move on to the next one. So another thing that I wanna talk about that's two to $300 is this intake from PRL. Now, the one that I got is a short ram intake, but a cold air intake will be better for this car. A short ram intake will boost that whooshing noise that you get from the turbo once that turbo spools up. So you're gonna get that whoosh, whoosh, that whooshing sound pretty much. And I think it's a huge improvement from that stock airbox that you get because that stock airbox from this car is really quiet and it doesn't emphasize that whooshing noise just like how this PRL short ram intake does. I doubt that this will get the same amount of power as the cold air intake, but I'm, I'm very happy with this purchase. Uh, if you are getting any horsepower, it's probably going to be just maybe two or three, um, but I highly doubt that. If you are going to get a cold air intake, it does, well the site does claim that it increases the horsepower by at least 15 horsepower uh, if your car has a tune. And they do have converter kits on PRL's website, so you can convert this short ram into a cold air intake. So maybe down the future, during the middle of the summer, 
uh, I might convert this short ram into a cold air and see the gains. Short ram intakes draw air from the inside of your engine bay. So if you live in a very hot climate, then this mod is not for you as it will increase the chance of getting heat soak. Heat soak will reduce the power of your car because your intake is absorbing that already hot air from the engine bay and recirculating it through your engine, making components work harder and that equals having the car not run as efficient. Right now I haven't had any issues uh, with heat soak, that's because I live in a not so hot climate area. Uh, so I live in southeastern Pennsylvania. The temperature here mainly in the summer is between 80 degrees and 90 Five degrees even when the hottest temperature hit uh, just like the other day it was 95 degrees I did not have any heat soaking issues uh, whatsoever with this intake just yet um, and it was humid and yes this car was tuned uh, during the time of filming or during the time of testing it out so yeah I really highly recommend getting this short ram intake if you live in a hotter area go ahead and get that cold air intake uh, but for me, living in southeastern Pennsylvania, I haven't had any issues just yet. Uh, if I do have any issues, I will update you guys. Uh, but at the time of filming, no issues whatsoever since the day that I installed this. And speaking of installation, I did an installation video as well. So be sure to check that out if ever uh, you're wondering how exactly do you install this intake. And I also have uh, whooshing noises. I have noise samples and how to do a whooshing noise on a CVT while it's parked. I don't recommend doing it uh, on a CVT, um, but I did make a video just for, you know, just for reference. Uh, so if you want to go ahead and check that out, I will be linking it down in the description. So highly recommend getting an intake for this car because it does emphasize that turbo noise and you are going to get that whooshing, whooshing, whooshing sound. So boom. Next mod. Another mod that I want to talk about is not a performance mod, um, rather a aesthetic mod. And this is good if you're going to car meets or if you just want to look different in the streets. And I'm talking about underglows. So I we installed underglows on this car. I actually had my buddy install it for me. And the reason why I put it in this video is because I gave him $250 to get the lights and install it uh, on this car so that $250 is included with the labor so I actually have a video of that on the channel these are nice if you're going to like car meets or if you just want to show off those LEDs because underglows are making a comeback in 2021 I guarantee it it's a shame that's illegal so you can't turn your underglows on while you're driving on the roads because it is illegal you will get pulled over so if you're parked somewhere or if you're on a car meet with your buddies you can turn them on show off those underglows and it really makes a different vibe to the vehicle so i highly recommend getting underglows uh, it doesn't increase horsepower rather it increases the style and look of your car so those are the first four mods that you should be doing on your 10th gen honda civic sport hatch in particular the price ranges from 200 to 300 dollars and in my opinion all these mods will change the look of your hatch compared to stock it really makes a huge difference not only in terms of performance but in terms of look so under 300 dollars these are the first four things that you should be doing now with that being said here is the end screen so that about wraps up this video if you like this video be sure to hit that like button Comment down below what you guys think of this video because I do read comments on the daily and I do try to respond to each and every one of you. And if ever you're in the market for LED lights or floor mats for your 10th Gen Civic, be sure to check out LastFit's website because I do have a discount code which is CTFK7 so that you can get 10% off. Uh, this doesn't just apply for Hondas, this applies for all makes and models of cars, so be sure to check that out. Again, use code CTFK7 for that 10% off. Anyways, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. Comment down below what you guys think of this video because I do read comments in the daily. And if you do have any other mods that are in the $200 to $300 price range, be sure to share those so that I can check that out. Again, thank you all for watching. This is Chris Time FK7 and peace out.